This is Marklin Blakelock. I'm the Deputy CEO of Centara Hotels and Resorts. Well, good afternoon. Thank you very much for talking to Breaking Travel News today. My pleasure, Christopher. And we're here at ITB Berlin uh, in Germany, the world's uh, leading travel trade show. How important is it for you and the brand to be seen at events like this to get your message out to, to consumers? Actually, it's vitally important. We've been uh, present uh, in ITB for uh, pretty much as long as we've existed, which is uh, some 30 plus years. Um, the nature of our business, we're, we're heavily into uh, beach resorts and uh, we're heavily reliant on our relationships with uh, tour operators, wholesalers, uh, who we meet with at, at this show. So it's, it's a very important show. It's, it's great for our relationships uh, and we talk a certain amount of business too. So uh, it, it, it ticks all the boxes. Um, you took up your current role with the company in uh, late last year, October last year. Um, what are your ambitions over the next uh, one, two, three years uh, for the company? Actually, w w b when I uh, was going to arrive, uh, my expectation was that I would spend my first three to six months working on a five-year plan. And actually, a five-year plan had been presented about two weeks before I arrived. So I, I wasn't sure if it was people wanting to lock it in before I arrived or uh, a coincidence. In fact, uh, no, it was a coincidence, and uh, the plan is a, an excellent plan. We've subsequently done some uh, revisions of it, some tweaking of it, uh, and it's an aggressive plan, and, and uh, my role will be to execute that plan. Uh, and the, the, the sort of foundation of the plan is to grow uh, from some 60 hotels to 130 hotels, so grow by another 70 hotels over the next uh, uh, five years. And most of that growth will be of our uh, latest new brand. It's called Cozy. It's an affordable lifestyle brand for tech-savvy travelers. Um, and we opened our first one in Samui on the 1st of December. Uh, it, we've had excellent reviews uh, from the guests who've stayed there. Um, and uh, our plan is to develop 40 of them, up to about 40 of them in Thailand over the next five years. The rest of the expansion, uh, today we're in uh, five countries. Uh, we're in Thailand, we're in uh, the Maldives, we're in Vietnam, Sri Lanka, and uh, last year we opened in Oman. And uh, we have a pipeline of another 20 properties, and with those 20 properties we will grow to uh, 12 countries. That will include, uh, we have a joint venture in uh, Dubai uh, for a 600 room theme resort. Uh, Centara brand, our, our uh, upscale brand, um, and uh, there are two other properties that we're, we're hoping to uh, acquire, uh, manage uh, in conjunction with that joint venture. Uh, we have two properties under development in Qatar. Uh, we're going to be in Cambodia, in Phnom Penh, we're going to be in Bali, uh, Indonesia, uh, we're going to be in China. We have two projects underway and, and the promise of more projects in China. And our, our world, we're, our, our key focus is uh, in uh, ASEAN countries, uh, uh, Indian Ocean and the Middle East. In those locations we will invest, so we don't believe in asset light, we, in, we believe in asset right. Uh, today 35% of our hotels are owned and when we grow the group to 130 hotels uh, we'll still have about 35% owned, either owned fully owned or through joint ventures. It's certainly a very ambitious time for the company. Um, we're here in Berlin um, in Europe as, uh, as I mentioned at the start. Who's filling those hotels? Is this an important source market for you? Who tends to, to visit the properties? Well, most of our business uh, comes from the region where we're located, of course, but after that re region the most significant part comes from Europe. So it is, it is a key market for us. Uh, European travelers come and stay for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. We have some uh, who stay in our flagship Hua Hin property for a couple of months every year, and they keep on coming back. So the, 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 the length of stay uh, and the, the, the recurring stays are very prevalent from, uh, from Europe, uh, mostly UK and uh, Germany, but we're also well represented in, in from other, from the Nordic countries, Scandinavian countries, uh, France, Spain, uh, we get good representation. So it's a very important market for us. You mentioned a number of properties coming into the Thai market there. How would you describe the mood in Thai hospitality at the moment? Is it, uh, is it a, a good time to be investing? 
Uh, I would describe it as booming. Uh, many times uh, we run out of rooms to sell. Uh, Thailand's had a, had a great year last year, uh, over 35 million visitors. Uh, I think it's second only to Hong Kong in the region and a lot of the visitation in Hong Kong is just across the border. So in, in pure tourist arrivals, uh, Thailand is number one. So it's, it's, uh, uh, it's been a phenomenal uh, year. Uh, last year, of course, with the, the passing of the, the, or the, the mourning period for the passing of the king, uh, affected uh, mostly our predominantly corporate hotels. But those hotels have, have kicked off this year uh, with, with, with uh, great activity levels. And, and our expectation is that will continue for this year. We're looking forward to a, a, a very good year in Thailand. Some interesting points, and I appreciate you taking the time to speak to us. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher. My pleasure.